Hey friends and fellow DMs, today I want to talk about children and D&D. Okay, and I think it's a great combination. I really think D&D or RPGs are just fantastic for children. My daughter, you know, I, uh, I ran some games for her. She's grown up now and she still plays in my games as well as other people's games. So I think that's great. And now she's got a lifelong hobby, you know, numerous friends from the hobby and just still has a great time with it, you know, and I think that's fantastic. Now, uh, I'm going to go back a little bit for some history, you know, because there was a satanic panic when D&D, you know, came out and, uh, you know, there was this whole thing about it was maligned and, you know, the, the spells you know, you were demon worshippers and all this kind of stuff. And that was quickly dispelled. And then another branch kind of happened, the video game, right? And it kind of took the mechanics of RPGs, but really not everything else that makes an RPG great. I mean, the computer can do all those mathematical calculations for you, and that's cool. But, you know, it's very kind of railroady. You know, it's like if you talk to an NPC, you either do their quest or not. You know, there's not a lot of choices uh, in a... In a in a, uh, you know, a computer video game. So the great thing about an RPG is there are a lot of choices and that's great for children because they come up with unexpected, you know, things. Uh, you know, children, you do, children say the darndest things, right? Well, that's great, you know, for an RPG. That imagination, you know, I think is great. And, you know, these days with children and devices, you know, it's like, you know, people are all in the devices and this kind of thing. And, you know, it's very insular and it's very, you know, just you and the device and that kind of thing. Even though you may be connected to the outside world, it's still very, you know, closed. Where RPGs, you know, encourage uh, creativity as a group. They encourage social interaction, which is, you know, that's great for children. So let me talk about some of the things that I think are fantastic uh, for children, right? So one thing is imagination. Uh, the game really jogs the imagination because unlike a video game or whatever, a device, it's not feeding you the stuff. It's not giving you, you know, uh, this is the graphic, this is the, you know, this, this is the story, this is that. Uh, you know, the player has a lot of input into what happens in the game and how the game is molded and shaped. And a good DM will follow the player's lead on that. Well, a computer game can never do that, a device can never do that. So I think that imagination, the imagination aspect of it is great and it really encourages ch children to have, to use their imagination. And imagination is important for your life. Uh, you know, the unimaginative, uh, you know, I, I think are not as um, successful in life as the imaginative are and can, can, can think and they can dream and they can, they can imagine, uh, you know, different things uh, in their life or, you know, for the world. So I think that kind of creativity really benefits a young person. Another thing that's great about it is it, you know, it encourages working as a group. Like I said, the social interaction of the game, it encourages working in a, as a group and getting along with people who are different. And that's a great lesson for children to learn because in the world, you're gonna have to get along with people. There's, there's, you know, there's people you're not going to get along with, and you know, you're going to have to either work with them or work around them. And I think the aspect of RPGing it in a kind of a safe space allows children to experience that. And you know, psychologists have said how beneficial that role playing is to adults, to everyone, because you can you can act it out, you can play it out without being you're in a safe space without being in any kind of real danger, and. I think that's great. It's also very cathartic. You know, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of frustrations in life, and I think kids, you know, parents are frustrated, and you know, the world is moving so fast, and I think everybody, even children, you know, everything like are expected to move so fast, get up, go to school, blah blah, blah do this, do that, you got this appointment, you got blah, blah 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 blah, and you know, that catharsis of working, you know, role playing and working out problems and having a, a satisfactory solution, you know, in a game, you know, it's not real, but, but there's a certain, like I said, there's a certain amount of catharsis to it. It makes you feel good. So that's a great way and, you know, a non-harmful way to work out things like that, work out your frustrations of the, just your daily life, right? And it applies to children too, as much as adults. Another thing that's great with children in RPGs are the math. 
Because the children have to do the math with the dice. They roll the dice, they add and subtract, and they do their damage and that kind of thing. Well, you know, that's, that's great. And it, it, you know, it's, a, it's a fun thing. It's a fun environment you're doing. You're not just sitting down working out pro you know, problems that are just you know, in a void. They're, they don't mean anything. Well, in a game, the numbers actually mean something. And I think that's great for children. You know, they, they want to, you know, they want to add their bonuses and they want to do this and they learn, you know, it's, it's good for the math skills, I think. Uh, you know, seeing the number, knowing, uh, you know, if you add this, you're going to have that. And I think that's great. It's also, I think, another good thing about it is quantifying, right? Uh, you know, because you're quantifying things. When you're role, when you're playing, you know, role, you're role playing. You're playing with the, with the sheets, you know, your characters, and uh, you know, as a person who's played a lot of RPGs in real in regular life, I, I I'll say, oh, that you know, I'll think about a percentage chance that that would have to do or work or whatever, and you know, that can be actually beneficial, I think, to people to you know think about it in those terms instead of just. Oh, I don't know how you know. I don't know how you know successful this could be, or you know. I think that might have a twenty percent chance of success. Maybe I should maybe I should tip the odds a little in my favor, right? I know that sounds a little weird, but I don't think it hurts to have a child be able to think logically. It's it's kind of logical thinking and quantify things and quantify things actually in your life. You know, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Another aspect I think is really great for uh, children in RPGs. Uh, is empathy right? Because you're playing all these different characters, races. You're tr you're getting along, and this kind of things. And, and and even the people you fight, you know, may be enemies, but they may think that what they're doing is right, right? And they and they actually might try to. You know, I've had my enemies try to convince the players to come to their side because what I'm doing is right and what you're doing is not. And so I think that that really, you know, gets the gets kids thinking about other people. You know, not I'm me and this is how everything has to be in the world and there can be nothing else outside of it. It, it really encourages empathy, I think, in children to think outside the box as far as their own little world. And there's like, oh, hey, there's this person over here that thinks different. And, you know, why do they think different? Oh, that's why they think different. Okay, they were raised differently or they have different values or that kind of thing. So I think that's fantastic for children to learn. I think that's great. And let's not dismiss just the play, right? You know, children play, and adults tend not to play. And this gives adults an, an excuse to play. And not only that, it gives you an excuse to play with your children, right? You know, sometimes it can be hard to sit down and just, you know, you can play for a few minutes and that kind of thing. But adult, you know, might quickly lose interest in that kind of play. Uh, where, you know, as if you're all engaged in a particular story, you're all kind, your imaginations are all coming together and working to form something. Uh, that really encourages everyone to play, the children and the adults, and I think that is fantastic, a fantastic thing of RPGs and a great thing uh, with your children, you know, that you have that experience of play with your children. I think it's just as therapeutic for you as it is the child. Now, if you know me, you know I'm the, known as the DM crafter, right? I love to craft terrain and stuff for my games, and I actually kind of like to make the little worlds that we play in on the table and really draw your interest into it. And I think children do really well with kind of visual aids as well as anybody else. I have a lot of players who love the kind of visual aids that stimulate their imagination. And I think children can really get involved in this. I mean, it's like toys basically. It's like you're setting up toys in the, on the table and you're imagining what they're doing. So I think that's fantastic. If you're, if you're not familiar with my crafting, check out the DM's craft. And I have tons and tons of cheap and easy crafts that you can actually do with your children. You can sit down and do these crafts with your children. And I have a lot of people in my groups, you know, my Facebook group and my forum and all that kind of thing and watch my channel who have told me numerous times that they sit down with their children and they have a blast. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like you know, sitting down with your with your family and crafting for a game. And you know, they may not know why you're crafting what you're crafting, but uh, they can all help out, you know, make make dungeon tiles, make make set pieces and this kind of thing. And it's so fun. Let me tell you, it's it's a great thing to do with your children. So I hope this, uh, you know, this talk about uh, children in D&D and, D &D and really any RPG uh, will really encourage you to get children involved in this hobby because there are so many benefits, I think, to making really a well-rounded person 
uh, role playing and playing D and D or other RPGs if they're not ready for D and D. I think that it's it's really you know uh, a great thing for children and it can help them to be a better person. I think it helps everybody be a better person actually, uh, from for adults as well as children for many of the reasons I mentioned. So I hope you enjoy this talk and uh, go forth, have fun, you know, get your children, get them in, a, in your game and, uh, you know, show them the fun that you can have, you know, the family fun you can have uh, with RPGs in D&D. &D. So you take care and have fun.